So we're gonna start with Gmail setup. If Google hosts your domain, go ahead and create an email address for your new assistant. It's super simple. First, log into your Google admin account. Next, select users from the left-hand side. Then you're gonna see a box that says add user. Add the user, and this is very important. Make sure that you enter in your VA's personal email address as the secondary email. That way it prompts them to set up their new Gmail account and you don't have to do any extra legwork. It'll all be able to be done from their side. One thing to note is that they do have to sign in relatively quickly. I believe it's 24 hours after you do the steps, so make sure this is done right after they start. So next is the Google Calendar setup. So once you have their Gmail set up, you're gonna to need to share your personal calendar as well as your work calendar with your assistant. And I know some people are a little hesitant to give out their calendar information, but you definitely need to get past that in order to have a good relationship with your assistant. Um, in order to be effective, they have to know your calendar and everything should live and die by the calendar. And this also gives them an idea of when you're available. So you're not getting pinged when you're in the middle of a client meeting. It makes them work around your schedule, which is exactly what you want. So to share your calendar, go to Google Calendar and make sure you are accessing this in your Google Chrome browser. Um, it just makes everything a little bit easier. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you should see a section titled My Calendars. Hover above the calendar you want to share until you see three little dots pop up over the hover. So you're gonna click the three dots and this will create a pop-up menu. And from there on the pop-up menu, click settings and sharing. And this will open this screen that you see here on the left-hand side of this pop-up screen. Um, you should see a menu that says settings for my calendars. In that section, click on access permissions for events. That will take you to a section in the settings titled share with specific people or groups. At the bottom of this section, you will be prompted to share with specific people. In the, in the add email box, make sure you add their newly created Gmail account. And it's important that you add their new Gmail account because this will allow them to see the actual information of different events. If you add their personal email, they will have limited calendar access. They'll only be able to see when you're busy. They won't actually be able to see what the events are, access any information about them. Then it will prompt you to add a permission and it's up to you, but I strongly recommend selecting make changes to events. And the reason I recommend this option is because they are going to be the ones to reschedule and move your calendar around in the event that something happens. So if they don't have the ability to edit your events, they won't be able to be effective if you get tied up. So let me give you a very real example of when this comes in handy. Um, last year, I got completely stranded while I was on vacation. I was supposed to come back on Monday, but I actually couldn't even get a flight out until Thursday. And I was in an area with extremely limited internet access, unfortunately. And the internet access would go out for hours at a time. Uh, but my assistant tracked my flight, saw the cancellation, and proactively moved the 32 meetings I had scheduled during that time, and she was actually even able to take some herself. Um, and we had a few meetings that were time sensitive, uh, but because she was able to edit my calendar, not only was she able to prioritize the meetings that needed to get prioritized, but she was also able to assign the right people to them. So if you don't realize how important it is to have someone else managing your calendar, you will when you need them to. So I suggest go ahead and proactively make that decision.